Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemarkam. In this video, we are going to explore the applications of this acetyl acetonito copper 2 complex in organic synthesis. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to get more in-depth discussions like this. So let's moving on our copper acetyl acetonate in organic synthesis. So first we are going to see how you prepare copper acetyl acetonate and its structure and properties in the preparation. When you take the copper chloride dihydrate with acetyl acetone in the presence of sodium acetate, which readily produce copper acetyl acetonate complex. So instead of taking copper chloride, if you take copper sulfide or copper nitrate, which also produce this corresponding copper acetyl acetonate complex. So in the structure, so the structure is present in the square planar form. And, uh, and their color is bright blue solid. So when you move the applications of copper acetyl acetonate is white. However, here we are going to see only four important applications, which is mainly based on copper carbon based reactions such as cyclopropanation, elite formation, and their transformations, insertion reactions, and finally Smith Vanellagas Wolf rearrangement. Apart from this copper carbon based reactions, some of other reactions also known in textbook as well as literature, such as Lewis acid catalyzed uh, reaction. That means that copper acetyl acetonate could act as a Lewis acid, as well as this copper acetyl acetonate also useful for some of the coupling reactions. Anyway, here we are going to see only copper carbon based reactions only. So before moving that, applications of copper acetyl acetonate we should know what is mean carbene therefore let's see what is mean carbene so carbene is a neutral divalent carbon molecule which contain two unsaid electrons so this type of species called carbene so carbene also classified in the two types such as singlet or triplet carbene which are depending upon their electronic arrangement and most of the carbenes are really short lived. However, some of the stable carbenes also known such as N heterocyclic carbene. Let's moving on singlet as well as triplet carbene. Here you see the structures of singlet or triplet carbene. So first is singlet carbene. Here you see the unsaid pair of electrons present in the sigma orbital. That means that sp2 hybrid orbitals and one empty p orbital. So this singular carbene is resembles like carbocation as well as carbanion both are present in the same system. Therefore, this system having both nucleophilicity as well as electrophilicity in the same system. So this electrophilicity as well as nucleophilicity both are depends on the what are the group present in the either R or R1 and also the singlet carbene stabilized by R as well as R1 groups. So typically angle between the R R1 is approximately 100 to 110 degree. When you come to the triplet carbene, the two electrons is shared with P orbital as well as sp2 hybrid orbitals. So apart from this form, one more form also possible. So that form present in the linear form. So in that linear form, so one of the electrons is present in the sp hybrid orbital. So this triplet carbene looks like a biradical and the typical angle between the R R1 in this particular form is 130 to 150 degree. So let's moving on the metal carbene or carbonate complex since we are going to explore the copper carbene based reaction therefore we should know what is mean exactly metal carbene or carbonate complexes. So carbene is stabilized by metal. It's called the metal carbene. So here you see the metal carbene. So when you come to the carbonyl, here you see the carbon center. So which it which is attached with metal as well as leaving group. So this one is called carbonyl. This carbonyl carbon having equal reactivity, just like our singlet carbene. And also carbonyl can be obtained by reacting with various transient metals such as copper, rhodium, palladium, molybdenum, even sometimes iron also. 
So this type of metal carbene or carbonate precursors can be easily up, obtained from the corresponding diazo compounds. So let's moving on the basic structure and bonding in the metal carbonate complexes. So now you consider this structure. So here you see this one is a singlet carbene. So this unsaid electrons donated to the metal center through sigma bonding. And at the same time, the filled D electrons moving towards to the P orbital through pack pi bonding. So here you see this carbon and metal bond, mostly strong bond. And similarly, this metal to carbon, I mean back pipe bonding is mostly weak or moderate strength. And when you see the desired metal, so if you take the metal, that should be strong sigma acceptor interaction. And similarly, that should weak pack donation interaction. Those type of the metals are highly suitable for generation of metal carbene or metal carbonate complexes. So for example, copper and rhodium, these two examples are well suited for the generation of metal carbene or carbonate complexes. So here you see the diazo compound. I already stated that. So diazo compounds are highly useful to prepare the carbonate or metal carbene complexes. So here you see diazo compound. So that diazo compound having either electron withdrawing group or electron leasing group also possible. So their reactivity mostly depends on the what are the groups present in this uh, framework such as either electron withdrawing or electron leasing. So if you having electron withdrawing group, those type of the diazo compounds are highly reactive nature. So just now we seen that uh, what are the carbenes and what are what means metal carbenes? So now we moving on. What are the applications of copper carbene based reaction? The first one is a cyclopropanation reaction. So for cyclopropanation reaction, here you see when you take the diazo compound, it react with alkene in the presence of copper acetyl acetate, which readily produce cyclopropane compound, this reaction typically stereospecific reaction with respect to the alkene geometry. That means that here you say when you take the cis alkene, so their arrangement of R2, R3, both are present in the cis orientation. And when you take the trans alkene, you will get the trans oriented products. So let's see the mechanism for the cyclopropanation reaction. Before that, we should know how generate the copper carbene complex. So here you see the copper based salt when it interacts with the diazo compound which readily kick off nitrogen gas which produce corresponding copper carbene complex. So here you see the resonance form. So here you see, so our carbene center donated the electron to copper center therefore this center having positive so this center having negative charge. So not only copper acetyl astenoate, instead of copper acetyl astenoate, we can use copper sulfate, copper triflate, and some of other copper salt also can do similar type of reactivity. So in case of formation of cyclopropane, there are two type of mechanisms are known. So we'll see the first mechanism. Here you see the pi electron readily attack this uh, center, then followed by this pi electron move this center, which readily produce this four member ring system. After the formation of four member ring system, which readily collapse to produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound. Or otherwise, here you see this is the another mechanism. So initially pi electron attacks this center, which readily produce this bipolar species. So after the formation of bipolar species, which readily uh, ring closing takes place to produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound. Let's see some of the examples based on cyclopropanation reaction. Here you see the styrene compound, which react with Diazo compound in the presence of copper acetyl acetate, which readily produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound. Here you see the trans oriented product, uh, which is obtained in the major one, and this one is a minor one. So we can explain the stereochemistry from this transition state. So here you see, so this R means here the phenyl group, and here you see this one is a ester group. Both are present in the uh, trans form in order to 
reduce the steric hindrance therefore which readily produce this the uh, trans uh, diisomer as a major form so this is the another example here you see the alkene which readily react with the diiso compound in the presence of copper as the elastomer which readily produce copper carbene in situ which then readily react with alkene to produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound so this is another example here you see acid chloride which readily react with the diiso methane which initially produce a diiso compound after the formation of diiso compound which readily uh, react with this particular double bond to produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound that means that so formation of small ring system is highly favored compared to the uh, higher ring system so this is the another example when you take this diiso compound which readily react with this terminal alkene which uh, produce this corresponding cyclopropane compound in the presence of copper acetyl acetonate reagent here pf3 ether it act as a lewis acid so next we moving on our second application which is based on elite formation and their transformation after the formation of copper carbene so we can represent like this so here you see this center having positive charge this center having negative charge so which readily interact with hetero atoms such as sulfur nitrogen oxygen those kind of atoms having lone pair of electron which readily uh, react with this positive center which readily produce corresponding elide so here you see the metallated elide as well as elide both are present in the equilibrium so elide means that both positive and negative charge present in the near uh, system i mean near center which is called elide so after the formation of elide which can readily transform various type of reaction so here you see the first type of reaction is cyclopropanation reaction so here you see when you take the alkene in the which it react with the diiso compound in the presence of copper acetyl acetonate and tetrahydrothiophene which readily produce the cyclopropane compound so here you see the tetrahydrothiophene the sulfur having lone pair of electron which readily uh, react with this positive center which produce this corresponding elide compound so this elide which readily react with alkene to produce the cyclopropane compound so just like cyclopropanation epoxidation also possible the same uh, reactive manner here you see when you take this hydrozone derivative when you react with base which readily produce in situ diiso compound after the formation of diiso compound which readily react with benzaldehyde in the presence of copper acetyl acetonate and tetrahydrothiophene which produce epoxide formation so here you see how this happened so tetrahydrothiophene which readily interact with the center which readily produce this kind of elide after the formation of elide which readily react with aldehyde which produce epoxides so just like epoxidation acidity formation also possible so when you take the imine which readily react with the diiso compound in the presence of copper acetyl acetonate and tetrahydrothiophene which produce corresponding acidity compound through this elide formation reaction so next we moving on 4 plus 1 cyclization reaction now you look this reaction so this one is the alpha beta unsaturated system so just now we seen that our previous three type of reaction uh, based on sulfur elide so here you see what elide going to form so when you react with these two uh, substrate in the presence of copper acetyl acetate which readily produce this five member ring system here you see how this happened so here you see the oxygen having uh, lone pair of electron which readily interact with this center which produce this corresponding elide comp elide uh, intermediate so after the formation of elide here you see the negative charge attack this center this pi electron shifted here this pi electron shifted towards the oxygen atom which produce this heterocyclic compound so next we moving on ring expansion reaction so here you see so this reaction is based on nitrogen elide formation so here you see this system having nitrogen as well as diiso compound both are having the same framework so when you use copper acetyl acetate which readily produce this corresponding fused compound so here you see how this happened so initially this nitrogen having lone pair of electron which readily interact with this center which produce this corresponding elite compound so after the formation of elite ring expansion takes place to produce this bicyclic compound so next moving on alkenylation reaction so when you take the thiocarbonyl compound with diiso compound in the presence of copper acetyl acetate which readily produce this corresponding alkene product so here you see how this happened so this sulfur i mean thiocarbonyl sulfur 
which readily attack this positive center, which readily produce this corresponding elide. After formation of elide, uh, ring closing takes place. Here you will see this negative charge attack here. So this pi electron move towards to the sulfur atom, which readily produce tyrene compound. This tyrene compound is not much stable, which readily collapse to produce this corresponding alkene product. So next we moving on. Third important application is insertion reaction. So now you consider this reaction. So when you take the copper carbon, which can react with CH, NH as well as OH bond. So here you see how this happened. So this center to X one bond is formed and similarly this center to H one, one more bond also formed at the same time the X bond, X catch bond is break, which leads to produce this insertion products. So first one is a CH insertion reaction. So when you take the indole, and diso compound in the presence of copper acetyl arsenate, which readily produce the CH inserter product. So here you see C3 position, this insertion takes place. So OH insertion, when you take the, when you take this diso compound with acetic acid in the presence of copper acetyl arsenate, which readily produce this OH inserter product. Here you see this carbon uh, intermediate inserted in between the OH bond. So next we moving on NH insertion. When you take this hydrosone derivative, when you use CCM carbonate, which readily produce corresponding diso carbon in situ, after the formation of diso carbon, which readily interact with copper acetyl acetate, which produce copper carbene, after the formation of copper carbene, which readily react with the secondary amine. Now you see, so this carbene inserted into the NH bond, which produce this corresponding product. So just like Intermolecular version, intramolecular version also possible. So when you use copper acetyl acetate, here, here you see this place readily generate copper carbene. After the formation of copper carbene, so here NH insertion takes place, which produces this five-member heterocyclic compound. So next we moving on our final application is Smith vanilla wolf rearrangement. So here you see when you take this substrate, when you use Copper acetyl acetate in the presence of methanol, which readily produce this corresponding rearranged product. Let's see how this happened when you use copper acetyl acetate, which readily produce corresponding copper carbene complex. So after the formation of copper carbene, so we can write like this. Here you see this pi electron readily attacks this positive center at the same time. So this electron moves towards to this carbon center at the same time. So this electron migrate to this center, which readily produce corresponding ketene intermediate which readily attack with methanol here you see this center attacks with uh, methanol attack this center which readily produce this corresponding rearranged product today we see in copper acetyl acetate catalyst in organic synthesis especially copper carbon based reactions such as cyclopropanation elite formation and their transformations and insertion reaction and finally smith vanilla gas wolf rearrangement reaction I hope this video has expanded your understanding about copper carbon based reactions. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And one more important thing, instead of using copper acetyl acetate, we can use a rhodium acetate also. So rhodium acetate also do all this type of reaction. So here you see some of the practice problems when you get the free time just to give you a try. And finally, thanks for watching. See you soon.